I'm Mark Dresner, and this is the Research Insider, brought to you by the Future of Consumer Intelligence Conference. Joining us today is Beth Schneider. She is the Director of Corporate Customer Market Insights at Intuit. Beth, welcome to the program. Oh, glad to be here. Great to have you. What role do you think traditional market research is going to play in a world of big data that we're seeing? What we've been hearing is we get incredible behavioral data, so it's what I call the what data. I'm coming out of um, uh, the big data, but there's so many questions that come up as part of that in terms of, well, who and, and why? And I think that market research can really step in and help answer that. So understanding why something is happening really allows us to make the right decisions at our companies. And I think market research is pivotal in playing that role. How should researchers then think about partnering, incorporating big data into their arsenal? You know, we've been going through that journey uh, at my company into it, and I'd say one um, thing that I'd really advise people to do is find out what big data is available in your company. Mm -hmm. I think in the past, our role as our uh, business clients would come to us would be, oh, great, great, we're going to design um, a study for you, whether it's qualitative or quantitative. But really, the first thing should be, what's the right data to be able to answer that question? Mm -hmm. And that's not always going to be data coming from my um, market research studies. So get comfortable with what data is available, what web analytics, what product analytics are available, and then figure out who in your company is actually doing that. And then I'd say I'd add the layer of really understanding how that data is useful. So when might you use um, data on how the product is being used versus relying on more traditional, uh, asking someone how are you using the data, uh, how are you using the product, excuse me. And so I'd say get, you know, get familiar with what's out there and how to best use it. And then figure out how to pull it in to answer the business questions so you're not just relying on a single source of information. Um, and I, um, I can give an example of um, a project that we did uh, where we assumed that people who were stopping using our product were kind of the low transactors. So we just thought they probably don't see value. Why should they pay monthly? Mm -hmm. um, and as we uh, actually got into the behavioral data, lo and behold, we found there was a small group of very valuable customers to us who were also attriting. And so, of course, we leapt to the conclusion of they must think the pricing is wrong. Let's lower the pricing, mm -hmm. except our pricing was quite competitive. And when we picked up the phone and we called these folks, what we found is, you know, I'm a really high value customer and you tell me to go to the back of the line with everybody else and, you know, I feel like I have a relationship with you. Yeah, yeah. That led us to a very different decision and if market research hadn't been at the table and part of the discussions, um, yeah. I'm just not sure we would have gotten to the right answer for our company and I think we'll continue to play a really important role in all of that. Have you seen big data and research work well together? Yeah, I would say it into it. We really um, have been on that journey, and in fact, we um, we actually combined our analytics and our market researchers into what we call a community of customer intelligence folks. Mm -hmm. And the goal there is to really bring all of the data that's available together and not get hung up on, you know, is it your data, is it my data? It's all of our data, right? right. And so I think if we're in the room at the same time in the beginning where we brainstorm on if this is the business issue, what are the kinds of hypotheses we have? what data do we have, who has that data, and then how do we partner together, I think it works beautifully. And I'll leave you with my one little quote, which data Please. is data is data, meaning we've always worked with data in market research, and it's just a different kind of data. Um, and I, I just think that the partnership is going to be the best thing we can do for our business partners within our companies. Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much for Thank joining us today. Thank you for the today. opportunity. And that concludes this episode of the Research Insider. I'm Mark Dresner. Thanks for tuning in.